Hey everybody, how you doing? Today we're going to work on three jazz techniques for clarinet that Sidney Bechet used to help you bring out real expressiveness to your playing. Now Sidney Bechet was one of the masters of New Orleans clarinet and soprano saxophone and in my mind there was no one more expressive with the way he would bring out a melody. So today we're going to work on three techniques. We're going to use only the first four bars of one of my favorite Sidney Bechet tunes called Petit Fleur. So, here we go, I'm gonna play the melody for you right now with a classical approach without any jazz inflection so you can hear how it sounds uh, pure. Okay, any Sidney Bechet fans out there probably recognize that. Now it's pretty kind of plain, it's very unjazzy. Now we're going to add some techniques. The first thing we're going to do is widely used in jazz, it's called vibrato. Now vibrato was something Sidney Bechet used extensively. He had a very broad vibrato. Now as the decades progressed, vibrato got a little more subtle, but I love the expressiveness that Sidney Bechet used with his big vibrato. So I'm going to add that to that melody right now. Have a listen. Now you can hear I didn't add it the same way to every note. I tended to save it for the longer notes. You can uh, work out your own technique to see what feels better for you. The second thing we're going to do is something that I call a rip. We're gonna use that on our first note in, in Petit Fleur, which is an F. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start on an octave below and rip it up to the top F. And it sounds something like this. It kind of gives the note a pop and gives it a real entrance. Now you don't have to do that on an F, you can do that on an E or a G. But it's a nice, don't overuse it, but I really like that technique. It really gives you a grand entrance, great. Now, the next uh, technique we're going to learn is something called a slide. Now we're going to do that in the second bar of this melody, and it's from the G sharp. We're going to slide from the G to the G sharp. So my target is the G sharp, but I'm going to loosen the embouchure and start on the G. Okay, so you can hear that. It's a real slide into that note. So I'm gonna put that in the melody. Okay, I love that sound on those throat notes. It's really nice and meaty. Great. Okay, so here we go. What we have so far. Okay, I'm gonna give another little slide up to that F. My next note is an E, and I'm going to add something that the classical musicians call a, call a mordant, and it sounds like this. So instead of just going, which is what you want to do, you're adding a little ornament in there. And Sidney Bechet would do that a lot too. So let's put all that together. Okay, great. One more thing we're going to do is we're going to add one more slide from the E to the C. My target is the C. When I play that E, I'm going to loosen my embouchure and start to lower the pitch on that and join it up to the C. Okay, so there's lots of things we can do to help develop looseness of the embouchure. There's lots more information on jazzclarinetlessons.com, but in the meantime, that's what we're working with. So let's put all that together. Once again, we'll play the classical version and then we'll play the Bechet jazz version. Ready? <laughs> Okay, I hope that helps. Enjoy expressing yourself through Bechet. That's what I love to do. Find your own ways to use those techniques. There's no one way to play any melody. Uh, I could play that melody many times, many different ways, using lots of expressive techniques. Have fun with it. It's so much fun to bring out your inner Bechet. Enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for lots more clarinet stuff. We'll see you next time.